guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend vlog i know the last vlog if you guys didn't catch it was just focused on a wedding i don't have any weddings this weekend but i do have a couple of photo shoots though that hopefully the clients will let me film i wasn't super hungry today so i decided to just eat a banana i have leftover banana and my dogs really like bananas you guys want some bananas yeah I have Christmas pants on right now. It's very appropriate. We have snow again, guys. It's not okay. This is just me being overly dramatic, but I swear spring is never coming. It's just teasing us every once in a while with 70 degrees weather, and then it does this. It's currently around 8.15 right now, and I know you guys are gonna hate me, but I already packed up my stuff um, for my photo shoot that I have today. I need to go ahead and get myself ready here. I literally get so lazy, guys, that I keep using new sponges instead of just cleaning my old ones. And you know what? We're still not gonna clean them. I'm gonna use another sponge. have pretty much finished everything. If you guys didn't see my full Merit Beauty review, then I can link it up above for you guys. I've really been loving their products. And honestly, I'm not even saying that just because they sent me the products. I literally spent $150 extra of my own money because I like the brand so much. I used a bunch of their products today on my face, as you guys might have seen, like the foundation stick, their cream blush, which I really have been loving a lot. And then I used their cream highlighter and everything. And of course I set everything with a powder. Speaking of setting things, I have not set my face yet. I'm not gonna lie, when I was doing my hair, um, it was getting a little bit frizzy. I'm glad I kind of like brushed it out and fluffed it up and everything because it really did not look like this. It almost started looking like an 80s hairstyle that was like really loopy and really curly and the curls were going all over the place. It is currently nine o'clock right now and I have to be at the photographer studio at 11 o'clock. I literally forgot that I had to answer a Q&A that I posted yesterday. I'm so terrible, guys, I'm sorry. There is a whole entire situation that happened yesterday, but let's just say that a really amazing brand that I've kept in my makeup kit for a pretty long time that I always rave about on my channel reached out to me to hop on a call yesterday. Well, the person that was supposed to be my contact and was supposed to be calling me and said that she was stuck in a meeting, so she wanted to reschedule the call for Monday. I was stressed about her not calling me and I had to do a whole bunch of other stuff yesterday. And long story short, I missed the premiere yesterday and then I also forgot about the Q&A. So I have to answer that now and for some odd reason, this freaking thing will not lock into place and I'm not sure why we're doing this. So once I figure this out, I'm gonna be answering my Q&A for you guys. Um, on my Instagram stories. In case you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's at jm underscore artistry. I pretty much have been slacking on it ever since I got back from vacation. I feel like I've just had like vacation brain for the last few weeks, but I'm getting back in the Q and A's and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for a little bit. And then I will just chat with you guys after I leave for my photo shoot. Okay. I just finished posting my Instagram stories and now I'm leaving. Everybody's responding to my Instagram stories and so now my phone's blowing up. Okay, I'm running a little bit behind schedule. Um, I kind of figured that I already would have left by now, but it's okay. So now I'm just gonna head to the photo shoot. Okay, I just got here. The photographer said she's almost here. So I'm just waiting for her to let me in through the back and then we'll get started. Yeah. It oh, looks like you were having some fun with some confetti over here.
Okay, as you guys can see, the client did let me film. I absolutely love the look that we came up with. I just lightly curled her hair at the very end with about like a one inch curler wand. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just head back home. Um, I actually have to go to a tax appointment. Um, in case you guys are wondering, because I always get questions about this, I don't file my taxes myself. I have an accountant do it, which is very smart by the way, because if you mess up on your taxes, it does not fall back on you. Also business taxes are just extremely tricky. So it's just really important to have a professional do it. It's I thought that I'd honestly just have to be rushing from here to go there, but I do have time to go home. It takes me about maybe, I guess like 20 minutes to get home from here. Um, so it's 1226 right now. I'm gonna get home probably around one and then I'll have time to eat something really quickly and then probably head out for the appointment. Okay, back home now. And I am getting ready to eat some food because I'm starting to get a little bit of a migraine. And I feel like I put that on myself because I did not eat this morning. So I'm actually having my leftover HelloFresh meal. It looks weird in the container, but it's basically just um, little spiral pastas, whatever those things are called. Then there's some green peppers, red peppers, um, a little bit of chili powder, and obviously some sauce and everything too, and some meat, and that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat some of that up. I guess while that's going in the microwave, um, I just wanted to chat with you guys really quickly because um, your girl made the decision to give her two weeks notice. I still haven't told my bosses, like they're both on vacation the same week for some reason, cause planning. I just think that it'd be more beneficial to me if I didn't have the job anymore. And of course I know I've talked about leaving for such a long time. There's no other person in that company that can do everything that I can do. So I have a position that's not easily replaceable. So I wanted to give them time to find somebody if need be, so then I can train them on the job because I don't just wanna leave them high and dry. I'm not that kind of person. I know that I have to compensate for jobs during the week. So I've been reaching out to photographers and just seeing if they would add makeup services as an a la carte item. And then maybe I could get jobs during the week. And then I'm also reaching out to venues near me and asking them if they can be on their vendor referral list. Um, so they can recommend brides to me and everything. So yeah, I'll probably have to start picking up a lot more photo shoots than I wanted to. It's weird because I almost had to revert back to the mentality that I started with when I first started my business, as in like you need to take every single job that you possibly can. Obviously photo shoots is realistically the only thing that really happens during the week, um, like engagement shoots, headshots, um, family shoots, things like that. And I know a ton of people don't really think it's a necessity to hire a makeup artist for those. So it might be a little bit harder for me to get clients, but I'm gonna try to just do my best. I'm also gonna film more YouTube videos. I'm very scared though, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is one of the things that's given me so much anxiety and I just feel like I need to rip the bandaid off and do it. And now that I've made the decision to do it, I just am kind of almost in panic mode now because I'm just like, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to make ends meet? I kind of tested myself throughout January and February by not having very many other outside jobs besides my normal full-time job going on. And I realized that even though it's kind of a money crunch a little bit, I can technically survive off of what I'm making through my full-time job and not working on Fridays still. So as long as I'm making that per week, then I should be okay. I'm in that boat right now. So yeah, I'm gonna tell them right when my two bosses get back from vacation and hopefully all goes well. Okay guys, I'm just on my way to go to my tax appointment. I get to see how much I owe in taxes, yay. If you aren't aware, as a business owner, we obviously don't have regular pay stubs where government taxes get taken out every paycheck and instead of paying taxes gradually on each paycheck we have to pay all of those taxes at the very end of the year we never get a tax refund like it's very minimal i actually ended up picking a new accountant for this year i had just used h r block for the past couple of years now that I filed business taxes and I just felt like I really wanted to get somebody who specialized in um, entrepreneurs and people that own their own businesses. It's like you want to vibe with your accountant and everything and you want to be able to have open and honest conversations, not be afraid to tell them anything. And they will be asking you, of course, a lot of personal things about your finances and whatnot. So you need to be comfortable opening up to them. And then also somebody who specializes in small businesses because they may be able to give you more of a tax break depending on the knowledge that they have in that. Whereas a generalized place like H&R Block usually just deals with people who have regular W-2s and that's all they file. So just be aware when you guys are looking for an accountant and everything, if you are a makeup artist as well or another business owner, 
owner, then just look for an accountant that has all those qualities and somebody who specializes in small businesses. Okay, just made it to the accounting place. Um, I'm just right on time. It's 1.57, I was supposed to be here at two. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in. I'm obviously not going to be filming anything because everything's confidential. Plus I don't think they want me just bringing in a camera into an accounting firm. So yep, um, that's about it. So I will talk to you guys afterwards and I'll tell you how it went. Well, hello baby. Okay, uh, your girl just got back from taxes and oh my God, I have such a big amount of taxes that I owe. It's fine. I mean, I made like over double what I made from the year prior. So I figured that, you know, obviously the more money you make, the more taxes get taken out. That's why as a business owner and you file taxes, it's super, super important. I kid you not to have a savings account just dedicated toward filing taxes. Because honestly, if I did not have enough of my savings account to pull out of to pay this, I would be broke. I mean, it's like thousands of dollars, I kid you not. Cool, my soul kind of hurts. I just wrote a very large check to the United States Treasury Department, so yeah, there's that. I'm kind of crying inside. But right now, I'm actually going to be recording all of my expenses slash income. I have the binder right here, just across these chairs. I decided to do it out in the kitchen because there's a bunch of daylight here and it just makes me feel a little bit more awake rather than doing it in my room. There's like a stack of papers, like literally that I have to record. In case you guys don't know, I do sell accounting templates, kind of something similar to an Excel spreadsheet, but it's in my MacBook, obviously. I transferred it into a Google Sheet system online and that's actually the accounting templates that I sell. So that's how I keep track of my expenses in case any of you guys are wondering. I'm thinking about up upgrading to QuickBooks eventually because at my full-time job, I do operate the QuickBooks software and I feel like I can get probably a simplified version of that for my own accounting. I know there's different versions of QuickBooks depending on how big your business is and how big you want it to grow to. Again, I do have my accounting templates available for purchase. They are $18 right now and you pretty much get everything that you would need to keep track of as a business owner. You need to track income, expenses, and your mileage. Then of course I have one for my Shop Julie Ruby templates because that has to be tracked separately. Then I also have my YouTube income and then Amazon. And then I'll also have my affiliate links through Magic Links to add to this too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that as a separate tab just so I can start keeping track of that for each month. It, no joke, just took me about two hours to literally get caught up with everything. I had to send all my April and May brides their timelines for the day. And then of course I also was recording all my accounting stuff. Now I feel really ahead of the game. So we're good now. I'm gonna go ahead and let my dog out first, but then I'm gonna clean up my makeup kit because I still have not cleaned that up yet. There's really nothing else to do. I've already cleaned my whole entire kit and cleaned my brushes and everything. So I will probably just see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, sorry for the weird camera angle. <laughs> it's currently Saturday and I'm just headed to a photo shoot right now. I have actually done this client's makeup a couple of times before, but she lives in Ohio. So I don't get to do it that often, but whenever I do, we always have a really great time. I also had a blonde moment earlier. I was trying to figure out why my car wasn't unlocking. I have one of those comfort access things where if you go within a certain radius to the car, then it just automatically unlocks. And I completely forgot to put my keys in my bag. So of course it didn't unlock because it was still inside the house. Okay, um, so <laughs> I made it here, but I just witnessed a car accident and I feel so bad because I literally had to get to my photo shoot and didn't have time to pull over to make sure everybody was okay. It wasn't a major one. Somebody ran a red light, like blatantly ran it. And the person that was going to turn left on the green light didn't realize obviously that person was gonna run it, which nobody predicts that. I have a dash cam on the front of my car and I caught the whole thing, but I literally had to get to my appointment and I feel so bad. I mean, it was blatantly obvious that they ran the red light, so it's not like a questionable thing that they might need somebody's dash cam footage and the whole reason I have it is for myself and other people so I just kind of feel bad and I just feel like I had to vent to you guys but anyways I gotta head in because it's like 10 minutes still so bye <laughs> Your 
First if you need a friend, yeah, yeah A fake one Staying until the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend Ah, uh, ah, uh, tell me how do I get inside Ah, uh, ah, uh, open up your mind Ah, uh, ah, uh, in this I know how to win a fight To win a fight Cause it's just my habits And I can't describe it camera battery is about to die so hopefully I can get this out really quickly but I just got done from the photo shoot obviously and oh my gosh guys I was so freaking unprepared for that photo shoot I should have known realistically that since this girl has really colorful vibes and everything I knew that I should have brought my rainbow eyeshadow palette with me I had a rainbow eyeshadow palette that I just bought from Viseart not too long ago off of Muse Beauty Pro and literally the best eyeshadow from neon colors, super pigmented and not a lot of fallout. That would have been perfect. So this girl showed up with really neon um, green and yellow hair, literally asked for neon eyeshadow colors and I was like, oh my gosh, I should have realistically done that. It's okay though, I've worked with her before so she fully trusted me and everything. So I actually ended up using the Viseart dark mattes palette but then I mixed them with white eyeshadows to try to lighten them up a little bit and I ended up getting a really pretty result it was just a little bit darker than we probably were thinking originally okay sorry my camera battery just died so now I'm switching my phone <laughs> I feel like I kind of underestimate myself sometimes I just don't give myself enough credit for the work that I do sometimes it's just as hard because you constantly compare yourself to other people I don't want to get overly cocky about it so that's mainly the reason why I stay so humble with things I know that I'm not the best but I'm also not the worst and I always just focus on trying to improve my skills every single time But honestly this look did make me really nervous There were some points in time where I was doing the makeup look stuff wasn't blending right And I started to get really nervous in the middle of the makeup application Which usually I'm pretty confident about because I usually do neutral bridal looks with the same colors And since this look was definitely out of my wheelhouse It just made me really nervous to try to accomplish a look like this But I just need to learn to have more faith in myself I think that we ended up with a really solid look the client was really really freaking happy happy about it. I think it's really important as artists to keep continuing to push yourselves and keep improving on your artistry skills and just taking things that seem really out of the box just to, you know, continue to challenge yourself. I just mainly wanted to let you guys know that even as an artist with a decent amount of experience, there is situations where I definitely do still get nervous about it and I do still get anxiety whenever I am not comfortable with the situation or not comfortable with the look that I'm doing. You just got to roll with the punches sometimes. You got to go for it. You got to do it. You got to always do what the client wants and just kind of adapt your artistry skills to whatever makes them happy. So anyways, yeah, I'll just talk to you guys when I get home now. Okay, just got home. Waiting for my dog. Are you done yet? Oh wait, she's done now. Does anybody else's dogs just like kick up a whole bunch of dirt after they go number two? Because like, why is that necessary? Okay, I honestly think I'm just gonna eat some food and then probably just end the vlog today. I have an appointment tomorrow, but it's for a family shoot and I just don't think that this person is gonna want me filming inside of their house. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this and the couple of makeup applications that I did on this vlog, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this as well as subscribing to my channel. I upload a ton of makeup artist related content, so if that's something that you guys are interested interested in, definitely subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.